All right, so today I got a, I got a camera lady, thank God, and we're we're gonna be showing you guys how to use the the new bait boat because the one that I just uploaded, the upgraded version, was not upgraded. It sucked. So this is working well and it's good, and we're gonna this is what we're going with. So this is how you load it. You get it all ready. It's really easy. Put your little chicken in the in the milk jug, Prairie Farms. Thank you. And you take the weight, which I got on a slider, and I just take, and I got this little deal here and there, and beep, 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 and then you lock it in. Okay, now our weight's locked in. So, we can take this and go ahead and take it to the water. Take this to the water. We've already put two out there today. Got to make sure your deal's on. Click that bad to free. Take, put the water, your boat in the water without putting yourself in the water. Be careful, the rocks are slick. Okay, get him a little bastard, a little push there. You see how that worked there? Just like that. Now you get your remote. Mine. I've got cruise control on this remote, so you can uh, click the cruise control to a speed that you desire, and it will not stop. It'll keep going, and you ain't got to worry about the throttle. So make sure you're free spooled. Click that bastard. Now I'm going to take that bait anywhere I want, and on my line I've got the measurement of how far we're going. So as of right about, oh, it's coming, 100 foot. We're at a, no, we're at 200 foot right now. No, we're at 100 foot. I got 100 foot of line out there so far. I can put about 500 foot in the water. So you get that sucker way out there like you do, you know. Get her out there. And then I hit the release and I click my reel. And out the back of the boat it went. So, I want to keep that boat away from that line, so I stop that boat out there. And get my line reeled in, because if, if you run over this line, I've already figured that out, ain't a good deal. Ain't a good thing to happen. So, we'll take and get this out of the way for a second, so I can go make this, there we go. Just set that bastard down right there. And we bring that boat back nice and fast. See, this is the fastest bait boat on the market, by the way. And just right back to the, to the shore, and like that. And like that, boys. That right there is, is legit still. I got no money in it. Uh, we're talking 400 bucks for that right there versus uh, 1500 for a drone or one of them goofy-ass bait boats. No complaints. Bring it back. I show you what it looks like. Grab it up here. Grab it up. No water in the boat. Nope. Dry as a bone. That's what I got going on, okay? That's to keep the weight from getting tangled up in the back of anything. It's just tape around the edges to keep it sealed. And my on and off switch right here. Bait container. Prairie Farms Chocolate Milk, we thank you very much. Here, kitty. All right, so it works. It's a success. I'll, I'm gonna, uh, I did a video before I did a video of the new boat. I wanted to make sure it worked before I started uploading a bunch of shit. So I'll do a video uh, on this video at the end or whatever, showing you kind of what all I did to it. All right, YouTube. All right, so we're back here at the house. We're done fishing, we didn't catch shit. Just a bad day for fishing. Everything's iced over and never no good bait. Ah. Anyway, so I figure I'll show you guys what I did to this here boat. Get it right. All right, so same thing. Waterproof servo on the top. Going into this little contraption. That's what locks that bait. Bada bing, bada boom. That's the bait locker. It pulls back, bait falls out. It's just some chrome molly tubing. 
both of them chrome molly too and there's a steel plate that I put underneath of that and then there's an aluminum plate that goes over the whole lid to stiffen the lid up because the plastic lid was not strong enough to hold this kind of weight not that that stuff's heavy this is aluminum this is a uh, 032 aluminum so this is the thinnest aluminum sheet you can get I just kind of made those little L's you can see this just kind of handmade baloney there and just kind of riveted the corners together and got it standing on top this like I said this is all going to an aluminum plate that aluminum plate goes all the way down and around the edges of this thing and it's also riveted which I'll show you oh and then the bait that's where the bait goes and a little bait catch prairie farmers milk half half gallon my antenna tubes that's my antenna coming out through there got them coming out so that you know they didn't have to put a bunch of caulk on it they're just coming through some rubber hose and then I put a bunch of stickers on it because you gotta got stickers make it go fast these stickers come in my Lincoln welding helmet so put here kitty and Brodex Speedway Lincoln electric but anyway, besides all that good shit, I'll show you the inside, the back of this thing here. So that's all riveted. See, that's an aluminum plate, riveted. Everything's riveted together and epoxied real well. So that's that. And the inside, I just kind of cleaned it up. There's a battery up front right there, if you can see that right there that's another battery that runs up to this that's running up and out through so that I can plug my light stick in I got a light stick that sticks right there but this is I haven't touched anything okay so this is fresh from the lake and like I say there's no no water in the boat at all well, you probably can't tell but there is absolutely no water in it the only thing that you got to do to maintenance this thing is loosen up those two screws right there, which are 10 millimeter bolts, and it's a clamp thing, and it releases like a really thick bicycle cable that's the prop, and you grease that, and that's it, man. I mean, there's this is a simple little deal. Pull that out, grease it, put it back in. I do it about every two times I use it. Seems to work good, but the whole trick to this is the $250 boat. $90 or I think I got 85 bucks in that $85 10 this has got 10 channels to it okay this is what makes this all work so some of you guys ain't RC savvy when you buy a regular RC controller it comes with a steering wheel and a throttle okay these run on what are called channels okay so like if you got a two channel receiver you've got throttle which is your thumb you got throttle and you've got steering those are two channels. Steering is a channel, throttles as a channel. If you need more channels to to make other things work, like extra servos, you know, you got you want to make this third servo work. Well, then you got to get another remote with more channels, and you got to make sure that the channels are going to be available to do what you want. You know, so this is a ten channel uh, radio link found it on Amazon it's really good it's got a 600 meter um, capability you can go 600 meters with it which is like almost 2,000 feet or so give or take and uh, and you can get get I can go out there so is what I did was I've combined all of this the boat my fishing poles and an avionics map I look for where I want to go on this avionics map. It tells me how deep the water is. It tells me, shows me the contour of the floor, everything. I look for those steep ledges with deep drop-offs, and then that's where I head with it. And the line has got marks on it every 100 feet. So I watch those marks on the line go out, and I know I'm 100 foot. I did two of them with like three hashes on every hundred foot so i really don't know how far i'm out i gotta count the hashes or count them as they go out the second poles that i did 
which I did two and then I did two. And then second poles, I did a hash for every 100 foot. So one hash for 100 foot, two hash for 200 foot, three hash for 300 foot, and it continues on to 500 feet. Tells me how far I am out in the water. So I'm hoping this is going to work. But anyway, the bait boat works great. Uh, if you used to duplicate it, you'd have no problems. All you got to do, throw some tape on the edges. I've already took my tape off, which you can see it's kind of already starting to peel my fucking paint. But anyway, you take, just tape that, screw it, tape it, and then I put a little deal on the back that's not on there right now, like that. I throw that across there so that nothing gets tangled up back there. You know, this stayed perfect. It dropped four baits today just fine. So, other or five baits. Yeah, I did five with it. So, and like I say, no problems. Just got to keep the weight in the center of the boat. You know, my, my problem with the other, the one that I did the last video on, was the, 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 the way that I had built it with the metal along the sides. Um, no need. I, I didn't realize that I could tape the damn thing. I wish I'd have thought about taping that. That was what I was worried about was water getting in the seam. I taped it. That held that and did just fine. So I took all that off the boat and got it back down to brass tacks, the original boat that was there and um put the weight in the middle so that everything's on the boat as it's going before the six ounce liter weight was hanging off the very back of the boat the bait was over here on the back of the boat i've moved everything it is not too high heavy this is light as can be up here it, you mean you guys seen it firsthand that thing sailed right across the water i got lucky today the water was uh, the water was calm so but I think it's going to do good in wavy water, too, because, it, like I say, before, water would get into the back of the boat and not want to exit. It wouldn't want to get out of the back of there. So it just fill up with water, man. It was crazy. So anyway, long story short, this is the way to go. This worked great. I'm not going to change it. This is the final third time's a charm, as they say. So other than that, hopefully I'll get some videos here of me catching some fish. The lake froze over my little fishing spot I got is uh, completely solid, man. I, fucking, it was producing fish, man. I was doing good. So, anyway, see how it works. Other than that, hope it helps somebody out there. Maybe with a little idea. I know that the base, the baseline drones for carrying your bait out there are 500 or 1500 to 2500. And then the little red boat that you get with the fish finder and the GPS tracking and all that, that's like $1,800 to your door, okay? So you can buy a $750 version, but it doesn't have the GPS, doesn't have the, doesn't have the, um, the fish finder, none of that shit. So you, even still, we're, I'm at 400 bucks and this thing uh, is doing, it's faster, I'll guarantee it, it is faster than any of the bait boats that are out there, okay? So like, Instead, of, like, you can go slow out there getting your bait out there. I use my little cruise control that's set at, like, a third throttle. So it takes it out there at a third throttle. I drop the bait. I click that cruise control off, and I grab a hold of a handful of throttle and bring her flying on back. And uh, I have no problems with it, man. It works great, so. Gosh damn it. That's it, man. Brodex. Lincoln, Speedway, you guys are welcome. You guys are welcome. Even getting featured on, on fishing channels. <laughs> Till the next time.